What's going on, everyone? It's the Nisco. Welcome back to Resident Evil Remake. Welcome to Disc 2. Last time we fought Lisa Trevor and had Barry live. Good for you. And in this episode, we are taking on probably one of the saddest excuses for a Disc 2 I have ever seen. If you're a speedrunner for Resident Evil, Disc 2 is a cakewalk. If you just blow straight through it, don't do any of the side stuff. The second half of this game takes about 15 minutes. That's right, if you can speedrun the mansion, this last part is just a breeze. Especially if you get the ending that makes the game go so much faster. But, since I'm going to be showing off everything and making sure you understand the puzzles, it might take me a little bit longer. Maybe 20 minutes. Uh, here we're gonna get some... I guess you would call them new zombies. They're scientist zombies instead of the regular ones. They do take a couple... Oh, shoot. Oh, no. Oh, no. Hey, hey, get off. Oh, Jesus. Good thing I brought that. Okay, that wasn't supposed to happen. These are doctor zombies or scientist zombies. I guess they pack a little more punch and they're harder to get off. But good Lord. Oh, my God, he still lives. Get out of here. Jeez, I thought the naked zombies were bad. But anyway, let's just move on. This is the laboratory. This is where most of the experimentation has gone on. As you've been reading, or hopefully been reading, all the different experiments that have been going on. It all went on here. And so now you have found out where Umbrella has done all their research. And there are some zombies here, but I can't see them. Okay, he died. Because he made the <gasps> sound. And you are still alive. But I'm out of grenades, so... Get up. Up with you. Hey, buddy. Get up. Up. Oh. Up. Oh. oh, are you kidding? This guy is a... Oh, this guy's a monster. How's oh, he dead now? It only took a taser. Fantastic. Five stars. Ten out of ten. In here is where most of the puzzle stuff comes in. And you get a special healing item here. I don't think it's anything special. I think it's like a green and blue or something like that. Maybe two greens. Let's see if I'm right. Two greens! Yep. Got it. Alright. So in here, let's go tackle... Oh, never mind. I do have to show this. This is important if you want to get the quote-unquote true ending, the best ending. So just be sure to take note of that door. And for now, let's go tackle a puzzle. An actual puzzle this time! Whoa, it's a dark room. Alright. So we got a couple shinies over here, and we can get an x-ray. There's a couple x-rays in here that you need to pick up, like the one over here on the table there. X-ray. Nice. And here's the message board. That apparently catches my attention. Alright, so different parts of the respiratory and digestive system. So the colon, the intestines, the esophagus, the lungs, all that good stuff. So if you go ahead and put the first one you picked up there, and right here, the second one, the one that was on the table, now we can come over here and turn on the red light. Different parts of the body have lit up thanks to the red light. And at first, when I first played Resident Evil, I thought it had to do with the names. But it has to do with the different parts of the body for a password later on. So the colon, the esophagus, the liver, and the lungs were affected. Now this letter... Ada, hmm? That's a very important name in Resident Evil nowadays. Take note of what this letter says, because it is a very big hint to a puzzle later. In fact, it's not even a hint. It basically gives you the answer to the puzzle later. In fact, this entire room, pretty much... If you know the codes that are in this room, that's how you speedrun this game so quickly. Because you can just fly right through the main puzzle of this area. So, John and Ada. Looks like Ada had a hidden lover... His name was John, 
and he decided to dedicate her name to a password. Fantastic. And that other door is actually locked, so we're going to have to move on here. Alright, now, in this underground laboratory area, you actually do want to kill every enemy that you come across, whether they'll become a Crimson Head later or not. And, uh, I'll have my reasoning why, but until then, here's a room filled with bodies and bags. Uh, I always had a feeling that one of these would become a zombie until I realized that they're not going to move. Oh, right, here on the computer, the login. Miss, Mr. John. And the password was his lover. A-D-A. -A. Boom. All right, now we have to unlock basement floor two. This is where the x-rays come in handy. It was the colon, the esophagus, the liver, and the lungs. Cell. In the original Resident Evil, the password was actually Mole, M-O-L-E. And that actually tripped me up, because if you play the remake before you play the DS version or the original PlayStation version, it just messes you up. And basement, the third basement floor actually just opens up regularly. So you don't have to worry about that, and after you're all done, go ahead and exit. See, you can just run straight to this room and insert the passcodes, and you're already halfway done. And this actually talks about Crimson Heads. Oh, God. Oh, God. That's what's in this room? All those bodies and bags are Crimson Heads? Oh, screw that, man. I'm getting out of here. So we unlocked a few of the doors, and actually none of, well, none of these doors are open, actually. Yeah, they're all locked. They have a different key. Is there anything over here? Is there anything here? I think a knife. Yep, a dagger. All right, I'm just waiting for these guys to get up, because the Crimson Heads actually, or, or the zombies, excuse me, they turn really quickly in this latter portion, because there's not a lot of game left. So the coding kind of had, had to pull double time. It kind of, like, sped up the process. And apparently they were dealing with Crimson Heads a lot down here, so they have no choice but to turn quicker. Oh, a naked zombie! He's dead! Yeah, in Resident Evil Zero, I had to deal with naked zombies, and they take twice as much gunfire as regular zombies. They're insane how... How does nudity equal... Stronger. Maybe that's why we have streakers. I don't know. From the Raccoon Disaster Company. Okay. Oh, they have only one concern about the T-Virus, huh? No, the T virus causing casualties? Pfft. It's family friendly. Oh, wow. They really wanted to use it against stars? I guess. Right here. We've got the MO discs for one reason to put it in this GameCube. And hey, going from red to green is somehow good. That'll work. And that's all there is in this room for now, so let's just move on to the other room that I opened, thanks to John and Ada. Which is all the way up there, and I love how I, when I look down the hall, all the lights are red, but as soon as I get closer, one of them turns green. Hilarious. I didn't think the GameCube had draw distance! Now, I actually do have another MO disc that I want to use later. So I'm actually going to run all the way back to the save box, which is just in the other room. And, oh, is he going to get up? Get up. Ah, uh, no, he didn't. Anyway, I'm going to go switch around my items real quick. I will meet you back in a second.
Okay, I just got the other MO disc that I had, or the MO disc. And you gotta get up? No! How about the rest of you? Oh, almost! He's turned red! He's gonna get up next time I come out here, I bet you anything. Alright, this room... There's a MO disc over here, do not miss this. I've missed it so many times, but I'm just hammering it in, don't miss this. And hey! Slideshow. There's the zombie dogs. Neptune. The hunters. The tyrant. Hmm. Hey. Is that Johnny Bravo all the way to the right? And a barcode. Awesome. So what happens if we put in the slide filter? The red dogs, the red sharks, the red hunters, the red tyrant, the red Wesker. And 8462, huh? Cool. We just got the passcode for this room. Thank you, slide filter. And this is actually a really easy code. If you remember down, left, right, and two, them all being even numbers, kind of gives it away. So anyway, in here is a very important item, and I don't think there's anything on these shelves, but there are shotgun shells, which I rather like. And right here is the key you need for the rest of the game, actually. And there is another cool thing in here. Oh, yes. Get away from me! No! Hey! No! No! Well, see, Kenneth deserves that because his last job was filming for Cloverfield and for all those other movies that use that. Yeah, so annoying. But it... Oh, here we have a layout of the entire laboratory. A heliport. Ah, oh, maybe we can contact Brad. Awesome. Uh, the data room. The prison. <laughs> and the triple locked doors. The power room, which we just got the key for. Passcode, authorization. Hmm. That'll work. That actually explains something important that if, in case of an emergency, all the doors in the complex will unlock. But what could possibly go wrong? And hey, I was right! What's up, buddy? You need to die. You need to die. Wow! I didn't think he'd go down that easily. I wish all Crimson Heads were like that. Or maybe it's because I got the awesome shotgun. Yeah, that's it. It, it, totally me. Totally all me, yeah, you know. And get up. Haha, I can call him now. One shot? Are you kidding? Am I playing on easy mode accidentally? No, not normal. Through here is one of the most annoying enemies in Resident Evil. And that's saying something, because 6 just came out and I hate every single enemy in that game. In here introduces the Chimeras. The Chimeras are little bug bastards that hurt a lot and they're really fast and they're really inconvenient to hit. I really hate those guys. But you are dead. You are over dead. I'm glad I could overkill you. These guys suck. They can climb the ceilings, they can climb the walls, they can go all over the place. And using a grenade launcher or anything else against them, besides the shotgun, is... You're almost guaranteed to get hit. Just because they're so low to the ground, and they're so fast. But the main reason I came in here... Was for the battery pack. Okay, I can finally beat the game. Now we got another GameCube. And light number three should come on. I play this way too much. It seems to have unlocked something. Well, I have no idea. And this is kind of a jerk move. We're back in the room we started in, and then they sent a chimera after you. Ah, shit. There we go. Oh, yep, nope. Ah, there we go. Splattered into bits. Get him out of here. I'm really glad the Chimeras only show up in this portion of the game, or else I would have been so annoyed.
one more place to use the key and it should be right yep and cool no longer need to use any more keys Just in case you were wondering, that door right there actually leads into the Chimera room, but we've already gone through that, and plus the door doesn't even open. And now, more naked zombies. Oh, he's dead. Oh, and he won't come back. Nice. How about you? Same fate? Yeah, they're not coming back. I would love that. I just love the grenade launcher here. And just in case you needed it, we have another save room. Which I'm actually going to take advantage of because I don't trust my luck, especially with this part coming up very, very soon. They give you plenty of items in here. If you're playing on easy mode, you get at least one of every ammunition, which is way too much. You don't even need that much. Uh, normal mode, they'll give you one random high-powered ammo. In this case, I got grenades. You can get different kinds of grenades, sometimes even shotgun shells, so that's really handy. And I actually don't need a lot of this. Even get rid of the first aid spray. I've got so many healing items, it's not even funny. Uh, I don't need anything else, really. Well, hmm. Maybe this should have been one of the things to cut out. Uh, that should be good. Yeah, there we go. Basically, what I'm going to do from now basically until the end, is going to killing spree. Everything down below needs to die. Almost all the chimeras, all the zombies, they all need to die. <sighs> because this game hates me. And it's actually kind of funny how Capcom can still be a jerk, but it's also kind of a cool mechanic. And hello! I didn't even see you there. One, one shot kill? One shot, one kill? No! Now you're dead! Asshole. Over here... Uh, I'll wait for it. I really don't want to do it right now. So instead, in this room only, do you need to clear out every enemy. So right here, a guy comes out of the wall. And another one comes out of the wall. Ow! Oh my god. God, these, these guys hurt so much. Alright. That didn't work. That didn't work. Shit. Um. Well, I... Crap. Mm, I didn't even know that... I didn't even know that was there. Is he gonna come back? Yes! There he goes. Eat it. Alright, so everything in this room has been killed. There is only one specific thing I want to do in this room. That's kind of been a running theme of what we've been doing since now. Another GameCube. We're going to play Super Mario Sunshine on this one. And it liked it! Nice! Speaking of which, I want to know what people think are some of the best GameCube titles. My opinion, Pikmin and Super Mario Sunshine and Melee and all the Resident Evil games because I love them so much. There's a lot of good GameCube games. For some reason, I never got into Metroid Prime. Maybe I just didn't like first-person Metroid. But I won't get into a debacle about Metroid because I actually own other M. I haven't played it yet. It's one of those things where, hey, I've got a game that depending on who's the player is good or bad tee and are these guys gonna get up crimson head hello actually I just realized and I think I've noticed this wow one hit again uh, there's actually a way to notice if the zombie's gonna come up as a crimson head if it died on its back and it's now on its uh, on its front it's going to become a Crimson Head. So, a little tidbit for you if you want an easier Resident Evil experience. And, obviously, if it also turns red, that's kind of important. So, with all that backtracking and tedium aside, we can now open the giant door. What was this labeled as? The prison? Well, there is one character we haven't seen in a very long time. 
Maybe Wesker's in prison. Maybe Barry caught him. I don't know. Who's over here? Well, hello. Jill? Chris! You're alive! Of course I'm alive. Jill, there's something big going down, and I don't think we're part of the equation. I have to get you out of here. Ugh, it won't open! Wait, I'll be back to get you out. Okay. No sightseeing, though.